All right, hello. Hello. Pleasure is always to be here. Hi, Miriam. Hi. <laughs> Lovely having a bit of a live audience here. <laughs> We'd love to be able to come through to bring through some clarity and peace. There are quite literally millions of voices in some sort of outcry, trying to sort through the noise, really of uncertainty, and very few clear voices for actionable things that you can do with all of that fear, or with all of that uncertainty, with all of the discomfort. So what we'd love to be able to do is guide you back into your center, into your peace, so that each of you individually can find what's really here for you. Because despite what's happening in the collective at any given moment, there's always something here for you to do as you. And especially when there's so much uncertainty in the air, it can be helpful for everyone around you to also have you in that embodiment of peace, in that embodiment of what's really and genuinely here for you. Now before we dive into a bit of the experiential aspect of this, we would love to say that whatever you're feeling called to post right now, or whatever you're feeling called to add to the discussion, is great. And whatever you're feeling called to not post or not share, or when you're feeling the call to not get engaged with certain aspects of the discussion, that's also great. We want to lay a blanket permission for your expression to be exactly what it is. Even if that means not engaging with some of the expression that's out there. The collective is currently refining heavily. And underneath, Lots of the debate that's happening right now between how practically prepared you should be and how much you should not play into the fear, the message is really fairly cohesive all the way through. And that's something that will hopefully continue to refine throughout the collective. That even when you do feel elements of fear, it's okay to feel them. It's okay to acknowledge that that's what's there. And it's okay to also pull back and see what else is there, to pull back from some of those emotions and take this in as grounded and practical of a way as possible. That message is fairly cohesive throughout the entirety of the collective, despite the arguing about which way to say it or which aspect of that's most important. So we'd love to echo that message right in the center of continue to stay calm and do your best. Do your best to navigate these uncertain circumstances. Now, with all of that said, we'd love to take a moment just to drop in with you. So, first, close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. And notice here, even with your eyes closed, that much of the debate that's happening externally and the frenzy that's happening externally is still present, is still up. Recognize and acknowledge that lots of what's happening externally, even with your eyes closed, dropped into yourself, is actually also happening internally. That you're also making sense of what's true right now and what you should do personally with the acknowledgement that all of what you're feeling right now is in your personal system, in your personal awareness, in your personal mind, let's take a moment to start to sort through some of it because not all of it's necessarily from you or of you. So let's take a deep breath. 
and call in your oversoul. Very simply, I call in my oversoul. You can say that out loud or even just internally. Take a deep breath. Notice what shifts you feel already. This invocation in itself is to the unit of consciousness directly above you, so to speak. It's the higher unit of consciousness that's most like you. So we can invoke many things. I call in Archangel Michael. I call in Jesus. Whatever energies may appeal to you or resonate with you at any given moment. But there's something very unique and special about taking time to call in the higher unit of consciousness. To invoke a higher unit of divinity that's most like you throughout everything else in existence. So in this space... Having invoked your oversoul, notice what you're feeling. Notice what you have access to in this moment. And how much of your internal world has likely, likely already started to shift. The aspects of you that aren't you already start to fall off just by acknowledging your divinity. Acknowledging that there's something else happening here, that this isn't just a physical reality dealing with this, all on their own, all separate, only having each other physically to rely on. You're also a part of something much larger, and calling in your oversoul that unit of divinity directly above you in a way also acknowledges that I'm taking a moment to call in something and call on something that in doing so also acknowledges that I'm not alone here ever. I'm not alone in my decision making. I'm not alone here to sort through which timelines ahead are going to be perfect. I'm not alone in making sense of my truth. I have access to all that I am to all that we ultimately all are, all the same massive network of divinity. I have access to all of that, and in that, I'm safe. And I know I can find truth and clarity here. All of that's getting acknowledged, even through that simple invocation I call in my oversoul. So notice how all of this has already shifted things. Continue to settle in to yourself and breathe. Now, notice what else is here. And notice if there are still any lingering pieces that feel difficult to be with. And in this space, let's try one more thing. I ask to be disconnected from the collective. And feel what it's like in this connection to acknowledge that there are some energies that are lingering within your system, your personal awareness, your personal, ener personal energetics, your personal embodiment, that aren't a reflection of this thing that you came here to bring to this planet that's ultimately you, your truest soul essence. And in that recognition, I ask to be disconnected from the collective. You call those energetics out. You're not disconnecting from the practicality of being on Earth. You're not disconnecting from friendships or people that you love. You're disconnecting your own energetic from being in the embodiment of something that was never you to begin with, something else that's here around you that unconsciously or consciously you took on 
as a piece of your own embodiment. So let the embodiments that aren't you fall off. I ask to be disconnected from the collective and continue to settle in and breathe. The state that you're settling into of peace, of calm, is the place where you get to make decisions about your life. Here you are the most you, and you are the most clear. So use this time to acknowledge what's really here for you. And in this space, it may actually be nothing. It may be that there's nothing that you need to do right now. And that in itself is an incredibly freeing understanding, acknowledgement, realization. That all the things that are pulling on you to do something, to figure out exactly what's going to happen over the next three to six months, may not actually be an expression of what's really here for you and that there are grounded, practical ways to acknowledge that. But whatever is here for you, and the things that are popping up still in this space, within your divinity, within the acknowledgement of your connectedness to everything, and buffered from all of the other embodiments that try to convince you that you need to take them on in order to be a good person in this political climate. With all of that, who are you and what's still here? This is where we'll leave you for the time being. So feel free to keep your eyes closed. Stay in this space and see what else wants to be explored here. And know that always you can come back to this space and that the core decisions that are beckoning to be made within your life, here now and in the coming days, get to be made with this level of clarity and peace. Because from peace, the most practical decisions, the truest decisions that ultimately take your life to the best possible place it can go in whatever circumstances arise, all become possible. So continue to settle in, continue to breathe, and enjoy this space. So much love to you. We'll speak to you at a later time.